Learn English through stories i10 PDF. Adapted and modified by Kowant Singh Sandhu. Contents The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole 13 3 4, 1981 by Su Townsend. January 14, sent to 22 ND. Wednesday, January 14, th. Join the library. A care of the skin. Origin of species and a book by a woman my mother is always going on about. It is called Pride and Prejudice by a woman called Jane Austen. I could tell the librarian was impressed. Perhaps she is an intellectual like me. She didn't look at my spot, so perhaps it is getting smaller. About time. Imar Lucas was in the kitchen drinking coffee with my mother. The room was full of smoke. They were laughing, but when I went in, they stopped. Mrs. Lucas was next door cleaning the drains. She looked as if she was in a bad mood. I think Mr. and Mrs. Lucas have got an unhappy marriage. Poor Mr. Lucas. None of the teachers at school have noticed that I am an intellectual. They will be sorry when I am famous. There is a new girl in our class. She sits next to me in geography. She is all right. Her name is Pandora, but she likes being called Box. Don't ask me why. I might fall in love with her. It's time I fell in love, after all I am 13 3 slash 4 years old. Thursday, January 15 DH. Pandora has got hair the color of treacle, and it's long like girls' hair should be. She has quite a good figure. I saw her playing that ball, and her chest was wobbling. I felt a bit funny. I think this is it. A girl with treacle color hair. The dog has had its stitches out. It bit the vet, but I expect he's used to it. The vet, I mean, I know the dog is. My father found out about the arm on the stereo. I told a lie. I said the dog jumped up and broke it. My father said he will wait until the dog is completely cured of its operation, then kick it. I hope this is a joke. Amar Lucas was in the kitchen again when I got home from school. My mother is better now, so why he keeps coming round is a mystery to me. Mrs. Lucas was planting trees in the dark. I read a bit of Pride and Prejudice, but it was very old-fashioned. I think Jane Austen should write something a bit more modern. The dog has got the same color eyes as Pandora. I only noticed because my mother cut the dog's hair. It looks worse than ever. Mr. Lucas and my mother were laughing at the dog's new haircut, which is not very nice, because dogs can't answer back just like the royal family. I'm going to bed early to think about Pandora and do my back-stretching exercises. I haven't grown for two weeks. If this carries on, I will be a midget. A picture of a midget. I will go to the doctors on Saturday if the spot is still there. I can't live like this with everybody staring. Friday, January 16, th. Imar Lucas came round and offered to take my mother shopping in the car. They dropped me off at school. I was glad to get out of the car what with all the laughing and cigarette smoke. We saw Mrs. Lucas on the way. She was carrying big bags of shopping. My mother waved, but Mrs. Lucas couldn't wave back. It was geography today, so I sat next to Pandora for a whole hour. She looks better every day. I told her about her eyes being the same as the dogs of ours. She asked what kind of dog it was. I told her it was a mongrel. I lent Pandora my blue felt-tip pen to color around the British Isles. I think she appreciates these small attentions. I started Origin of Species today, but it's not as good as the television series. Care of the skin is dead good. 
I have left it open on the pages about vitamins. I hope my mother takes the hint. I have left it on the kitchen table near the ashtray, so she is bound to see it. I have made an appointment about the spot. It has turned purple. Saturday, January 17, th. I was woken up early this morning. Mrs. Lucas is concreting the front of their house, and the concrete lorry had to keep its engine running while she shoveled the concrete round before it set. Mar Lucas made her a cup of tea. He really is kind. Nigel came round to see if I wanted to go to the pictures, but I told him I couldn't because I was going to the doctors about the spot. He said he couldn't see a spot, but he was just being polite because the spot is massive today. D.R. Taylor must be one of those overworked GPs you are always reading about. He didn't examine the spot, he just said I mustn't worry. Is everything all right at home, he asked. I told him about my bad home life and my poor diet, but he said I was well nourished and to go home and count my blessings. So much for the National Health Service. I will get a paper round and go private. Sunday, January 18, th. Second after Epiphany. These Sundays of Epiphany are a reminder from the church. Oxford University, Hillary, term starts. Mrs. Lucas and my mother have had a row over the dog. Somehow it escaped from the house and trampled on Mrs. Lucas's wet concrete. My father offered to have the dog put down, but my mother started to cry, so he said he wouldn't. All the neighbors were out in the street washing their cars and listening. Sometimes I really hate that dog. I remembered my resolution about helping the poor and ignorant today, so I took some of my old Beano annuals to a quite poor family who have moved into the next street. I know they are poor because they have only got a black and white telly. A boy answered the door. I explained why I'd come. He looked at the annuals and said, I've read them, and slammed the door in my face. So much for helping the poor. Monday, January 19, th. I have joined a group at school called the Good Samaritans. We go out into the community helping and stuff like that. We miss maths on Monday afternoons. Today we had a talk on the sort of things we will be doing. I've been put in the old age pensioners group. Nigel has got a dead yucky job looking after kids in a playgroup. He is as sick as a parrot. I can't wait for next Monday. I will get a cassette so I can tape all the old fogey stories about the war and stuff. I hope I get one with a good memory. The dog is back at the vet's. It has got concrete stuck on its paws. No wonder it was making such a row on the stairs last night. Pandora smiled at me in school at dinner today, but I was choking on a piece of gristle so I couldn't smile back. Just my luck. What is gristle? Gristle is a tough, rubbery substance found in meat, especially in meat of poor quality, which is unpleasant to eat. Tuesday, January 20, th. Full moon. My mother's looking for a job. Now I could end up a delinquent roaming the streets and all that. And what will I do during the holidays? I expect I will have to sit in a laundrette all day to keep warm. I will be a latchkey kid, whatever that is. And who will look after the dog? And what will I have to eat all day? I will be forced to eat crisps and sweets until my skin is ruined and my teeth fall out. I think my mother is being very selfish. She won't be any good in a job anyway. She isn't very bright and she drinks too much at Christmas. I rang my grandma up and told her, and she says I could stay at her house in the holidays and go to the Evergreens meetings in the afternoons and stuff like that. I wish I hadn't run now. The Samaritans met today during break. The old people were shared out. I got an old man called Burr Baxter. He is 89, so I don't suppose I'll have him for long. 
I'm going round to see him tomorrow. I hope he hasn't got a dog. I'm fed up with dogs. They are either at the vets or standing in front of the television. Latchkey kid is a child who must spend at least part of the day alone and unsupervised, as when the parents are away at work. Wednesday, January 21 cent. Mar and Mrs. Lucas are getting a divorce. They are the first down our road. My mother went next door to comfort Mar Lucas. He must have been very upset because she was still there when my father came home from work. Mrs. Lucas has gone somewhere in a taxi. I think she has left forever because she has taken her socket set with her. Poor M.R. Lucas, now he will have to do his own washing and stuff like that. My father cooked the tea tonight. We had boiling the bag curry and rice. It was the only thing left in the freezer, apart from a bag of green stuff, which has lost its label. My father made a joke about sending it to the public health inspector. My mother didn't laugh. Perhaps she was thinking about poor M.R. Lucas left on his own. I went to see old M.R. Baxter after tea. My father dropped me off on his way to play badminton. M.R. Baxter's house is hard to see from the road. It has got a massive, overgrown privet hedge all round it. When I knocked on the door, a dog started barking and growling and jumping up at the letterbox. I heard the sound of bottles being knocked over and a man swearing before I ran off. I hope I got the wrong number. I saw Nigel on the way home. He told me Pandora's father is a milkman. I've gone off her a bit. Nobody was in when I got home, so I fed the dog, looked at my spots, and went to bed. Some people have a neat and tidy privet like this. Thursday, January 22, N.D. It is a dirty lie about Pandora's father being a milkman. He is an accountant at the dairy. Pandora says she will duff Nigel up if he goes round committing libel. I am in love with her again. Nigel has asked me to go to a disco at the youth club tomorrow night. It is being held to raise funds for a new packet of ping pong balls. I don't know if I will go because Nigel is a punk at weekends. His mother lets him be one providing he wears a string vest under his bondage t-shirt. My mother has got an interview for a job. She is practicing her typing and not doing any cooking. So what will it be like if she gets the job? My father should put his foot down before we are a broken home. When she started borrowing my clothes without asking, I had to put my foot down. Libel equals slander a false spoken statement about someone that damages their reputation or mage. Putting your foot down, increase the speed or to use your authority to stop something happening. When she started borrowing my clothes without asking, I had to put my foot down. 